I started shopping at Aldi about four years ago and immediately shaved off about 50% of my grocery budget. Now, I was very skeptical at first. I remember probably eight years ago, I walked into an Aldi and I looked around and it just wasn't familiar. They don't operate the same as your regular grocery store. But because they don't operate the same as a regular grocery store, that's how they are able to save and pass on the savings to you by reducing their overhead. You may also be skeptical because they aren't, their brands aren't familiar to you. But in this video, I wanna give you some tips on Aldi, why you should shop at Aldi, and tell you some of my favorite things to buy there. Now, have you ever shopped at Aldi? If you love it, let me know in the comments down below and also leave what are your favorite things to buy there. I would love to read them. Aldi was founded in 1961 in Germany and was one of the world's first discount grocery stores. They actually came to the United States in 1976 when they opened their first store in Iowa. Now they are in 36 states with over 2,000 stores. And this video is not sponsored. I just looked up some of this information. I wanna tell you a little bit about their business model and what makes them unique. And then we'll go dive more into the tips that you need to know when you go shopping. Aldi has about five kind of business principles that they run on and it runs very well because of this. They're due to the inflation and the cost of groceries, their business has picked up considerably. So they focus on high quality food, everyday low prices, smaller store layouts for quick in and out, and everyday items displayed in their original uh, shipping boxes because they don't have to worry about restocking shelves. They save on staff that way. So let's discuss the tips while shopping at Aldi. Remember to bring your Aldi quarter. You use this Aldi quarter to get your shopping cart out. Why is this? Are they stingy? No, you get your quarter back. You put the cart quarter in and the purpose is they don't have any of the cart returns in the parking lot. So they don't have to worry about having a staff member who's solely dedicated to going out and getting the buggies and bringing them back. And I call them buggies. A lot of you call them carts, but let's use those interchangeably in this video. So they save on staff that way, but they also keep the carts out of the parking lot, again, so that they have a smaller parking lot, they don't have room taken up by those cart returns, and you don't have to worry about those hitting your car. So just bring your quarter. I always leave one in my dash of my car, just in case I don't have one in my coin purse. Now, you will need to bring your own bags, or you can purchase bags there, because they actually don't bag your groceries for you. They push everything through really quickly, they put it back into your car, and there's a long table that you are able to set out your groceries and put them in the bag yourself how you would like to see them. They have these big grocery bags that I have bought and had for years now. I have two of the regular ones and I have one of the more of the cooler that I put my cold items in. It makes it super simple just to leave the bags in the back of your car, but if you were like me, yesterday when I went to Aldi, we were in our other car and didn't have the bags. Not a problem. They have these great boxes. You just grab an extra box. Again, they don't take the things out of the box. That's how they display them is open up the box and they sit it there so you can get one of these bottom parts of a box, bring your things home in that and just dispose of it in the trash. They have their own brands, really great brands by the way, that to me taste no different than store name brands that you can that you see everywhere that have been around for years. To me, they don't taste any different with the exception of two things that I will talk about at the end of the video. Now, that's not to say you won't see brands at Aldi because you absolutely will. There will be some brands at Aldi, but beware because oftentimes the brands, brand name items that you see, most of the time they'll be on the specialty aisles. There are two specialty aisles that have all kinds of knickknacks and great things, including some of those name brand products that you're used to seeing. Be careful. Usually they are not the best prices. You can usually get those at Walmart for cheaper or sometimes with a coupon at your local grocery store for less than you can buy them at Aldi. Aldi really does rely on their brands, their specific brands, to really have the most savings. Talking about coupons, you can't bring coupons to Aldi. 
there's no need. Oftentimes the products that they have there are gonna cost less than if you did have a coupon at a regular name brand grocery store. So no need to waste your time coupon clipping. Now with that said, you can still use apps like Ibotta and something else. They do still have Aldi on them that you can do that cashback saving rewards if you use any of those. Now Aldi does have sales. You'll see a red and white tag on some of the better priced items weekly. You can check out the weekly circular. This is just one I picked up when I first walked in the Aldi store. It's right there. Or you can look online at the Aldi circular. You'll need to look up your specific location because they can the specials can change from store to store state to state but use that as when you're doing your weekly meal planning see if there's something that you always get at aldi that's on extra special this week one thing that really kind of made me go uh this might not be the place for me was when i walked into my first aldi and i saw the long lines i thought this is not good. I do not like to stand in line. Well, what's interesting about Aldi is they go super quick. So there may not be a whole lot of registers open. Why do they go so quickly? Well, there's a couple things. One, they don't bag your groceries. They literally just take it all and put it into a cart that's right next to them that's empty. And there's probably something you didn't know about Aldi and secret. You know how sometimes at the regular grocery store, they take time, the cashier, trying to find the barcode? Well, you know what's interesting about Aldi is they put the barcode in multiple places on all of their products. So no matter how they are holding it, that is how they go through the line and the items so quickly. They don't have to find a barcode. Just for instance, this salsa, there's one, two, three barcodes. This is their um, bagels. Again, one, two, three barcodes. There are multiple barcodes all over their products. So the lines go super quickly. Do not let the lines fool you. One of my favorite things about Aldi is it's small. It's easy, you can get in and get out. There aren't 20 different brands of spaghetti sauces to choose from. And some people may go, I like all that selection. Do you really? Yes, there may be some things that you want that you need at a grocery store that are very particular. For me, instant, for instance, um, we do a veggie lo, meat, lo mein uh, recipe and I can't find lo mein noodles at my local Aldi. Okay, that's one thing that I pick up and I stock up on when I'm at my regular grocery store. But the great thing about Aldi is it's small but it has all of the essentials, everything that you would generally need to get through your week. If you have dietary restrictions, don't think that you can't go to Aldi. They actually have, I've seen more selections with gluten-free and organic items than at other grocery stores. They have a big selection to choose from. Okay, I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that I love to pick up when I'm at Aldi. These are just categories of items and then I'll show you some specifics and tell you some of the prices. So the list of the things that I love, spices, big on spices. They have this garlic salt there that has parsley already in it. It is fantastic on pastas like olive oil and balsamic pasta. Add some of that garlic salt with the parsley already in it. It's delicious. But their cost of spices is amazing because spices can be 4 and $5 for a bottle at a regular grocery store. So I always get my spices from there. Now, there may be the occasional odd thing that you can't find there, but they have a pretty wide selection. I also love pasta and pasta sauces. Their spaghetti sauce, even the least expensive, has never let me down, and I will get that one any day over a Prego pasta sauce. One of the biggest things I always stock up when I'm there is on canned beans. We eat a lot of beans in our household, you know, kidney beans with our chilies and our soups, black beans with tacos and all kinds of other yummy meals. But we always stock up on our beans when we're there because they are a super low price. And they also have organic versions of all of that as well, if that's what you choose. Then they're all of their baking things. They have a whole uh, side of the aisle of baking items. So obviously your flours, your sugars, but then your pie crust, your chocolate chips, your your vanilla, all the things that you will need, baking soda, baking powder, all that good stuff, plus a whole lot more for checking out and making all of your you know, yummy goodies. Their ready to bake pizzas are also delicious and super inexpensive. These are awesome to pick up if you're going out on a weekend and you wanna have a pizza dinner, it's a whole lot less than going out 
or having it delivered. Their pizzas are big. They actually rise up very good and they're not, they're fresh, so they're not frozen. One of my favorite things are the chocolate bars. Just the chocolate, it's always on an end cap. Their chocolate is so delicious. We always get the dark chocolate. It's in a red package. I don't have any of it right now. I forgot to pick it up while I was there. We were in and out. But that is one of my favorite things is to look at the unique European chocolates that they have there. I can't not talk about dairy because dairy has risen especially a lot with cost. We always get our eggs, our milk, cream cheese, sour cream, yogurt there. But also if you're doing any kind of a cheese board or a cheese spread or things like Gruyere cheese, they have it there. And whereas you go to a regular grocery store, you will pay I think three to four times more is what I've kind of averaged out than if you get that same delicious cheese at Aldi. They just have really great cost on their specialty cheeses. Make sure that you also just check out their snacks. They have great snacky items. Pretzels, salsa is my favorite. I'll show it to you again here in a minute, which one I love. I can't always find the hot, but I found it yesterday. Also check out the specialty items. They have about two rows or aisles of specialty items. It's about 80% not food. So it's just random stuff. For instance, I think one year I found a Disney doll for my daughter. I think it was Moana that would have been $30 at Target for on clearance for $11. The exact same doll. So these are kinds of things that if you're there and you are one of these people like me who plans ahead, and you see something that might be a great gift idea for someone, you can pick it up and stock it away for later. Just be wary, <laughs> you know, you don't wanna go into these aisles and think, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. Do you really need it or you just want it because it's a really good deal? Make sure you have a purpose for everything you go and buy. Don't forget the condiments. This is a place to get condiments for super inexpensive. So I've got a few things I wanna show you here. For instance, hot sauce. I love Frank's Red Hot Salsa red hot buffalo this is the same stuff it's hot sauce cayenne pepper sauce tastes the same to me two dollars and nine cents you would pay a lot more for the franks then pretzels i talked about snackies my daughter loves these to take to for lunch a whole bag of these one dollar and 78 cents now bagels these are the exact same tasting as what's the bagel brand my mind is going blank. You know the bagel brand that looks like this. It's in the regular grocery store. These are cinnamon raisin. They only cost $1.79. My husband and my daughter love to eat these for breakfast. That is a really, really low cost per meal. Add some cream cheese. They have really great price on green cream cheese as well. Now, my daughter loves dill pickles. <laughs> Her favorite, baby dill pickles, $1.29. How much is this mustard? This is a 20 ounce bottle of mustard, not the small bo bottle, 99 cents, 99 cents. This is the ketchup, 38 ounces. Wonder how much this one was? Where'd it go? $1.69, are you kidding me? Now, this is their salsa. Now I get the organic, for me, I, one way or the other about organic, it's just that I love the taste of this and it's hot. I love the hot salsa. Of course they have mild and medium, so you can do whatever you want. But this organic salsa, $2.25. Now the two things that I always avoid at Aldi, for some reason I used to love to get their tortilla chips. They were delicious and then something happened. I don't know what, but they're not good anymore. So that's one thing that I move on past. The other thing are their canned green beans. Instead of buying their green beans, because every time I bought them, there was stems still in it. It was a whole lot of stems, so you'd end up eating that, especially if you were trying to make a green bean casserole where you're, it's all mixed together. No. So for green beans, we just buy Del Monte and we buy the, the big box from Costco. It saves us money and we don't have to worry about the stems. Before you leave, make sure you put down below what you think of Aldi. I'd love to hear it. And are there any items that I haven't mentioned here that you think I need to try? I would love your recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you back for more videos. Mm -hmm.